I'm about to go into the woods and uh, this might be sorry had a spider on me this might be uh, one of the best examples of a deer path that I can show you there's quite a few of these around this area but man talk about being obvious the briars are broken down there at the mouth of this and you can see a very distinct trail a path that goes right back into the woods there so uh, I think I'll head in and let's see what's in there stick with me guys well guys, uh, I guess I'm not the first person to walk this way. Uh, it's actually here a Pepsi bottle and a what appears to be a Powerade bottle left along this uh, deer trail that I'm walking on. And I'm not too deep in the woods right now. So uh, anyway, uh, upon first glance, my thought was, why would somebody leave trash here in the woods like this? But my second thought was, in a survival situation, I'd be really happy to see these. These would be two uh, bottles which I could actually clean and use in a survival situation to collect water. And store it in and transport it in so um, keep that in mind guys when you're out and about in the wild you know if you're ever in a true survival situation these type of things would actually be blessings in disguise um, just a thought I should take it with me I guess and dispose of it properly hmm tough choice maybe I could leave it in case I ever come to this area again in emergency hmm tough call hey guys this is pack rat 556 here I'm out doing a little day hike and uh, I found a new friend Wanted to give you a better look at him as much as I could. I'll zoom in and take a steal of him, but it's a huge tunnel spider. And this is a little tree stump that's fallen over during some storm. But man, that sucker, he's about two and a half inches. And his leg span is probably more than that. Gives me the heebie jeebies. I got the chills right now just filming him. I don't like being this close, to be honest with you. I'm probably about four feet from him, just kind of leaning in. Just thought you guys would find that pretty fascinating. It's the biggest tunnel spider I think I've ever seen. Pretty cool. Hi guys, uh, this is a big wild fern that I found. I'm kind of down in a real low-lying area. You can tell by the way the ground looks that it probably stays uh, covered in water here in times where it's not quite so dry haven't had a ton of rain lately but I uh, saw so all these ferns growing down here in this lowland area it's pretty cool looks like something out of a, another country I think kind of looks like a uh, Vietnam or something <laughs> in here it's kind of cool I thought that was a neat looking fern thought I'd show you guys a clip of it hey guys I don't know if you can see this very well but this is probably a good example of the world's largest widow maker that is, you set your tent up under that thing and a good wind comes along. If it decides to continue falling, you'd be goodbye. Good night. It's kind of interesting the way it's just hanging there. Uh, let's check out this vine here. I think this one's a little too big to use as cordage. It's kind of cool. It's nice to be out in nature and have a chance to see cool things like this, things that most people probably don't even notice. I appreciate you guys taking the interest to actually watch this. Uh, guys, I was wondering if anybody wants to take a guess at what made this hole. My guess is uh, probably rabbit. This might be a good area for setting up some snares if I was uh, in a survival situation. It's actually illegal to set snares in my state. So I wouldn't do that, but uh, and not unless I were in a total survival situation. But just thought this was an interesting little burrow. Just thought I'd show you guys. It's kind of down in a little dip here. A little creek, uh, dry creek bed area. You can kind of hear some footsteps out. Probably deer. Anyway, just thought I'd go show you guys this site as well. Hey guys, want to show you this uh, really cool woolly worm that I saw here crawling along the ground and I think that he's aware of me because he's actually looking up at me with the camera this just kind of gives me a creeps uh, it's a cool looking worm I'm not sure what kind it is I would say it would be a improvised meal but I'm not sure if it would be safe to eat or not I'm not familiar with that type of worm it's pretty cool looking though just thought I'd share it stick with me as you guys probably heard me say earlier I'm down in a uh, kind of lowland area 
and uh, this looks to be a snake hole. I'm kind of down in a hole where a lot of times uh, water would collect. You can tell it's real muddy down in here. I uh, wonder what type of snake lives in there. Just a guess. So guys, uh, as I was walking along, I've noticed there's a lot of this vine, and I'm not in all honesty sure what type of vine it is. It sort of looks like grapevine, but I know that's not what it is. But uh, anyway, just a thought that some of this vine, depending on the texture of it, could possibly be used as improvised cordage in the wild. So just something I noticed, and uh, maybe keep that in my mind for future reference. Well guys, I wanted to show you a couple of things that I found while I was out and about. Um, a couple of things that I might use in an actual survival situation. Um, one of them is greenbrier, and uh, greenbrier is a pretty tough uh, viney type uh, briar, which we have a lot of it in my area. Um, I just took my leather and snipped a piece of this. Uh, it didn't take a lot, um, so I'm not really using it right now for anything, but just as demonstration. But uh, one thing you can use this greenbrier for is I can go here and just just taking my blade and shave these little little briar spikes off. These things, when you're in the woods, you hate them so bad because they stick in you when you least expect it. But basically what I can do is just shave all these little briar points off and this stuff being pretty tough can be used as a temporary improvised cord. If I didn't have paracord or something else that I can work with, I definitely can use this in some capacity as to uh, as to uh, tie things together, use it for lashing, that type of thing. So you can see how I'm doing that. And uh, I'll just finish this piece off and then I'll bring you back and show you what my final, final project uh, looks like. Okay guys, well I got my green briar, briar uh, little project finished here. Just took maybe a minute at the most just to shave these little thorns off. And now this is something that I can use for, you know, a temporary improvised cordage. With nothing else, this is, uh, this is something I can try to uh, try to use and there's plenty of it in my area the other thing that I mentioned I picked up is uh, just a little reed here I was in a real lowland area when I was uh, walking today and there was a ton of this stuff growing around it's just green bamboo or like reed swamp reed and uh, the stuff's pretty strong and uh, this piece is about a half inch in diameter you can see what it looks like in comparison you know to my hand and uh, this stuff works real good I could take my saw my folding saw and just cut it off at one of these segments and then actually um, I can tie off a piece of snare wire here, just real secure it real good, and actually create a little eyelet, tie my line to it, and this makes a real great cane pole, fishing pole, uh, for survival purposes. And as I mentioned earlier with my kit today, I am carrying a little small fishing kit. So with this pole and this, I can actually uh, start searching for dinner. Um, I'm not staying out here today, so I'm just doing a day hike. Uh, I'll leave that aside. But anyway, just some uh, ideas for improvising in the wild. I thought I'd share with you guys. I appreciate you joining me for my hike today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you guys are doing well. Take care. God bless you. Mm -hmm.